What's going on guys? So, as I get older, I've kind of realized that I don't think it's normal to be anxious and afraid and worried all the time. It's kind of abnormal if you think for a guy to be, to be worried about what people think about him. To have all these insecurities about my looks, when, I, uh, when I'm around women, to approach a woman, why do I feel that, that fear of rejection? Why do I feel like, why is it even a thing to be, you know, to not do it? Why wouldn't I do it? If I'm a man going up to a woman, that's completely natural. Um, why do I fear about a lot of stuff? And you know, why am I plagued, it seems, by my mind? And so I try to, to go back and take a look at my upbringing. And it, something that I don't often do is kind of go back that far. But I remember very clearly my parents, the dynamic between my mother and father. And my mom was pretty tough. She was, uh, you know, she raised me along with my father. But I, I felt like my mom was kind of mean to my dad. And my dad, instead of taking on that role as a leader, being the man, setting an example, it's like he would do that sometimes, but he would also try to cater to my mom a lot. He would try to do stuff to always make her happy. And uh, I remember she would sort of lash out on him. And so... He would, uh, you know, he would get, he would get hurt. He would get, you know, sort of like closed off. I remember her, her, you know, being a Christian and telling me right from wrong. And when I would mess up, I would, I would feel like, almost like, like I was not favorable in her eyes. And it made me feel bad. You know, it made me feel shame. It, when I would when I would mess up, I was like, "Am I pleasing my mom?" I remember getting older and and uh, started working out, and I would, you know, flex, and I would be like, "Mom, look, I'm I'm getting bigger." And I, I remember just wanting her to be proud of me, you know, wanting her to 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 think like I'm a man, you know, I'm a man, mom. I remember feeling kind of. Uh, I just wanted her to be proud of me. And I think that my dad was really supposed to be that for me. Like, my dad was supposed to teach me how to be a man. My dad was supposed to show me right from wrong how to be courageous. Not to care too much what people thought about him. And, and I started to sort of develop this personality where I was always, I wanted to be a people pleaser because of my mom, because I, I wanted to please my mother. I wanted her to find favor in me. I was the oldest kid, oldest son. I wanted her to favor me when really I was, I didn't have that from my father. So I looked forward to my mother because my dad was sort of taking on that same persona of find favor in me, my wife, when my dad should have been more of that alpha, that that man, that leader. And, you know, I think maybe it started even from his mother. Maybe he looked at it in her. He didn't have much of a father role. So he despised his father. He clinged to his mom. And so, you know, my dad, I could see that too, that dynamic just when we would go out. He was always like, I remember certain times he would just sort of erupt. He was like, don't embarrass me. I would be, I would be being a kid. Just doing what kids do. He's like, don't embarrass me. Right now I'm like, what, what am I doing? What am I doing right now that's embarrassing you? And it's like a man, who cares? Who cares what people think? Where do we learn to, to cater to what people think about us? Why are we worried about embarrassment? So I'm starting to think that, you know, all of these insecurities that I'm having... 
the my relationship with women in my life uh where does it come from it's i've been programmed man my family, I'm, I'm, I'm fem I am feminized to my, at the core, everything that kind of stuff, I was feminized. And so unless I go back and I begin to forgive, and because I began to resent my mom, you know, I, w I began to resent women in general. I don't want to have to please them. And I don't. But, so, but, I, beca but I became even more likely to feel the need to not be embarrassed, to not be embarrassing, to um, to maybe question how it is that I should act, when really I know how to act. I don't need to think about that. I don't need to try to put on some fake, some act. I'm not an actor. Uh, I don't need to try to impress. What I need to do is seek the truth, to seek to do what's right. And so once I begin to, you know, I mean, even, even now guys, you know, really, I mean, just looking back, um, to be, to forgive them, forgive my father for not being a man, for not showing me what it is to be a leader, to be strong, to guide a family, even though he did try and I'm, you know, he did his, he did what he could to forgive my mom for sometimes being too tough or feeling like I was always being watched. I was always being judged to try to find favor in her judgment. And by me forgiving that, I can let go of the, any anger that I have. I can let go of any false persona I'm trying to be, and I can, I can just be a man. I don't have to worry. I don't have to try to fake someone that I'm not. I don't have to have fear, man. I don't have to worry about what other people think about me. That's, the, that's just the feminine, that's the feminization from my mother. I, my mom died a long time ago. And so when she died, like uh, you go from there and you still have that same idea that you have to please, that, you're, that if you fuck up, you're gonna be shamed. If you don't per act your best, if you, you know, you misstep, well, you're, you're not a man. You're, you're not doing what's right. I didn't need my mom to tell me that. I need my dad to tell me that. We need our fathers to be the leaders in our life. We need our fathers to train us up in the way that we should go. And I believe that most of the world is sort of beginning to get this dynamic. We watch Netflix. We see men with so much emotions, overreacting, filled men with anger. We see it on the YouTube comments. We see it in the videos. Every man, you see most men are bickering and fighting and arguing and getting upset and trolling. Men without other men in their lives. Men that don't know how to be a man themselves. Men that isn't calm and present and grounded. A man that worries what other people think about him. That likes to start fights, likes to get, you know, angry. That's not being a man, dude. Like, when you're angry with someone else, they, are you angry at your parents still? Think about that. Are you angry? Because now you're being like them. You're still living in that same, that same energy of trying to please, try, just because you're angry because you haven't forgiven. You have to forgive. You got to let that shit go. You have to set out on your own. Is your, are you living at home with your parents? Is your mom, are you your mama's boy? Is she taking care of you? She taking care of you, and that, that makes you resent her more you, because now you start hating yourself. You know, man, you should be out. You know, you know that you should be out there trying to figure out life, death or victory, going through the suffering, stepping up, facing life head on. What what are you avoiding? You know, life is tough. Being a man is is being masculine, is being um, able to stand up to the harshness of life, and even if it kills you, you might die. It wasn't supposed to be easy. It, when, you know, our mother's holding us and, and always being there for us and always nurturing us and not having a strong father figure to take us out to the woods, uh, theoretically, you know, or metaphorically, to take us out to the woods and show us how to hunt, show us how to support ourselves, show us how to be strong in the face of danger, to be courageous. 
Well, how do we know how to be met? How do we know to embrace the hard times? To handle death. To be stoic. To be non-reactive. To be stoic. To be, to be without so many emotions that cause us all of this grief and pain. It's not, that's not natural. It's abnormal, actually. And the rest of the world may say, oh, we, no, no, I don't believe that. I mean, it, think about how we simply evolved. We had to be ruthless. We had, we had to build and we had to hunt, man. We had people, other tribes coming to kill and rape our women. We didn't have time to be sorrowful and depressed. We didn't have time to have these existential thoughts. We didn't have time to worry about what people thought about us and fear rejection and sit in rumination and sorrow. We didn't, that's not what men are designed to be. That, that's what people with zero, with zero focus with, with, uh, that are alone do. People that are not protected, people that are weak, people that need a protector, people that are vulnerable. All right, stop living in the, in the shadow of your mother. Forgive her, forgive your father. If you have them and they're still in your life, go up to them and say, listen guys, you know, when I was younger, I, I've, you made me feel a lot of shame, all right? You made me feel a lot of shame for wanting a girl to come over to the house. And you, you made me feel like I was bad. And you know what? Now that transferred into how I treat women now. And I'm still, I still maybe have some, uh, some uh, I'm ashamed to have sex with a woman. I'm ashamed to, to be a sexual being. I'm ashamed to go up in front of people and talk and give my, and speak. I'm afraid to speak up for myself. Because when I did when I was younger, you told me that I was embarrassing you. And you don't want to be embarrassed. And so I've been living my whole life in this cocoon, uh, cocoon that, you know, I, I've created for myself because I began to despise you. And I put limits on myself. I trap myself. But now I'm a man. And now I'm going on my own. And I had... No one that holds me accountable. And I have to hold myself responsible. I have to take my own actions. I can't focus. So, you know, we can't focus on pleasing our parents. We have to forgive them. We have to move on, guys. So if you have parents, go to them and tell them what, what bugged you. And that you forgive them for that. Whatever it is. I don't know. This is something that you have to go within, see what's you know, at the core. So guys, that's it. I hope you have a great day.